Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We are Shara Park, the female death row convict. And uh, let's see, last episode, we tried really hard to figure out how to get lifting. We did replace a windshield in this car, which is pretty great. But uh, I think we're pretty set on figuring out how to get something with lifting um, so that we can take like a heavy frame out of the armored car that's not too far away from here. That's the goal. Um, so last time we played, I read that you could put two frames together for lifting purposes. So I guess we will try that. Um, I think we can make some out of... You know what? Maybe we could take some out of other cars where we don't need lifting. That's an idea. That's not bad. Let's see. Let, let's, let's take a look. Maybe we'll go down to that, like, police car that's near the, whoops, near the, um, is this right? Are we on the right? Yeah. I aimed that very well. Good job, Grim. Um, I mean, we could go to our our old vehicle. Because I don't know if we're ever going to use it again. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. That's right up here. We might take a few things from this vehicle. Because it's not electric. We're not using any non-electric vehicles at this point, right? I don't think so. Plus... This one already has a bunch of missing frames. What are all these things? Just cargo space. Oh, just cargo space. That would be awesome to just put this cargo space in there. Hmm. Okay. Let's, let's see. So these are just normal frames. Can we remove these frames? Oh, yeah, we can because we have strength, too. We do need metal sawing. Uh, but we can get that. I think we have that here, right? Mm, yep. Cool, we got a hacksaw. We're just going to take out some of these things. Yeah, let's remove this. First, we'll remove this board. Then we'll remove the roof. Then we'll remove the frame. All right. Look at us taking apart cars. And how's our mechanic skill now? 50% to level three. Okay. We are focused. It is morning. We're a little hungry, but we're fine. Let's get another one of these. I want a, a frame that's not uh, damaged. Here we go. But the other things can be damaged. Cool. Now our mechanics went up 7% there. All right. So if we bring these things over here. Do I take the storage out of here too? Can we? The cargo space? I would love that. Yep, I sure can. And we can re replace one of the seats with it. That would be awesome. Okay. Nice. Let's, um, well, let's see. Can we, can we do anything with what we have here? We're going to want, like, do we have, a, right, we need something with lifting. I think we bring the car back because I think we're going to need, like, no, right. If we use lifting, it's going to be by the other vehicle, the armored vehicle. So let's just see if we have that. 
uh, if we can get that. Stop driving. Uh, can I craft or how, how, how will this work? Do you have to like construct things together? There we go. The two, where are they? Frames. Where are the frames? Steel frames. Take them out. And now do I construct? Um, how does this work? All right, let me look at the vehicle and let's look at something that requires lifting two. Yeah, we don't have a tool with lifting one. So how does this work? Uh, I think I might need to uh, all tab out of here. I'll take a look. Uh, let me just look at like steel frame. Okay. It can be installed into vehicles as forklift arm. Huh. Do you need it? So we could install it on the vehicle? Is that right? We don't have forklift arm as like a... Hmm. Let me see here. Yeah, forklift arm has two lifting quality. It's installed from the item steel frame. A pair of forklift arms. If it is in your line of sight and within two tiles of another vehicle, you will automatically use it when you jack up the other vehicle to change its wheels or whatever. Okay. Um, but we did but why can't we install it? Maybe it needs to be at a certain, like, part? Oh, yeah, look at that forklift arm. Oh. It has, yeah, look at that. We could put it on the vehicle like that. On the front. Is that smart? We could also put it maybe on the back of the vehicle. Do I weld it on the front? I feel like maybe I weld it onto the back. Let's see. Like right here. Uh, right here. Why is this yellow? Oh, it's because it's... No? That's orange. This is yellow. I don't know why. Oh, because it can't be repaired? It's perfect? No, this is perfect too, and it's yellow. I don't know. Well, whatever. We'll do here. Install. And look, yeah, we can do a cargo rack. We need Mechanics 3 to install a cargo rack. But we can install a forklift arm. Okay. I didn't look at how long it would take. Okay. We have a forklift arm now. Okay, uh, so in theory, start driving, back up. Let's go to that armored vehicle. I think it'll be pretty out of the way where I put it. We've added to our car. We've added a square to our car. I'm pretty excited about that. I mean, I think the minute something hits it, it'll fall off, but that wasn't hard to install. We needed the welder. And of course, the welder needs batteries, but we have tons of batteries. I'm not sure if we have tons of medium batteries, but... All right. This is all to get a heavy frame to act as an anvil. All right, hey ants. 
Hopefully these ants are neutral. One of the, that soldier ant is hostile, but this giant ant right next to this vehicle is neutral. All right, stop. Uh, I do have the gun. Soldier ants don't seem to see me. Okay. So, is this close enough to get a heavy-duty frame? Yeah, let's take this one. Uh, no, I, I guess it's not quite close enough. So, let's... like do one of these like that and back up okay hopefully that works right there still says we don't have a tool with lifting one <laughs> oh also we would need to get rid of this armor plating we can't do that quite yet but that is a forklift arm. Lifting to quality. If it is in your line of sight and within two tiles of another vehicle, you will automatically use it. To use it to lift a heavy component like an engine, the crane must have line of sight to where it's going and it must be within four tiles of it. So that sounds fine. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Can I remove this door? I need lifting one. What's up with this? Do I need to like operate it? Electronics? Nope. Um. Engines? No. Hmm. Stop. Okay. Maybe it just needs to be that close? I don't think so, though. Oh, now it says we have lifting one. Great. Okay, that worked. All right. Does that need it to be, like, right against it, I guess? Great. All right. I can't remove the armor plating. But I can remove this door. Wait, that says I don't... Oh, it's the component. I need it to be next to that component. I see. And that component's on the other side? So with this side, I should be able to remove all these things. Uh, but the armor plating, I can't. Do I take... I guess we go to the other side, but the ants kind of freak me out. All right, let's try it. Okay. Stop driving. Soldier ants don't seem to see me or care. Uh, this ant sees me but is ignoring me, so that's okay. All right. Now we have it. We just need the bolt turning, which... Wait, really? Uh, the wrench should have that, right? Okay. Yep. 30 minutes. Okay. No. All right. Stop. Are they mad at me? No, they don't see me. Can I continue? Ignore further distractions. Okay. 
Now I'll take off that frame. We have a frame. We have a heavy duty frame. Wait, how did we get two? Oh, I guess the first thing we uninstalled also. All right, well, I'll take them both. Is there anything else I, I can get here? Oh man, we have lifting. Right, that mounted grenade launcher. The turret mount. Can I take off the turret mount? Uh, if I take this off. Oh, we need mechanics three. We're probably getting close. Yeah, we're at 70% to the way there. Not too bad. Hall. My hands are not free. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yes. Oh, exciting. I think we got what we needed. I think we did it. All right. We're going back home. And we're going... Now that we have heavy frame, that should be able to be used as an anvil. And we can now start forging. And doing all kinds of things. Very exciting. All right. That worked. I feel so proud. I'm so proud of myself. Okay. Stop the car. Let's see. Move the heavy duty frame, really all this stuff that we got, the uh, steel frame, the sheet metal. What else? Oh, the cargo carrier. Oh, we'll leave that here. Okay. I think here we will leave Uh, right here, the heavy duty frame. And everything else I'll bring in here. Was this the car stuff? Yeah, let's leave it there, okay. So in theory, this acts as an anvil, just it being here. Um, let's see, weapons. Uh, what if about component or, uh, tool, no, tool required anvil. Oh. Um, I don't remember. I think there were just weapons that we could use that we were looking at, right? Um, reach. Uh, oh, right. We actually need the book for that stuff. Let me take, let me take that. It's like sh uh, Samurai, Swords of the Samurai. I'll take that. And there was another book too, right? Like, sh yep, that one. Hopefully that's what we need. If I look at weapons now, yeah. Okay, but it says we don't have a tool with anvil of two or more. So this thing being here doesn't seem to cut it. Um, but we've read that it can be used. So let me let me look this up too. CDDA anvil. Maybe it can be crafted with this. Uh, let's see. Let's. Let's just say anvil. Two heavy duty frames. You can make it with two heavy duty frames or, but we need a crucible. Oh, here we go. Oh, this says we do have a tool with anvil of one. Apparently we have a, it, it's an, it, we do have a tool with anvil of one, okay. Good. So then why can't I make this weapon? 
Uh, because it must be an anvil of one, not an anvil of two. Uh, that makes sense. But we wanted this so that we can make... Um, right, we still need clay for a crucible. We can't make a regular crucible, only a clay one. We still need clay for that. What else can we make that has quality anvil? Right, the heavy duty frame, which has level one anvil quality. So that's all we have is level one anvil quality. And we still need a crucible of some sort. So we still, uh, to be able to get an anvil of two or three quality. So we can't make these good weapons, but what is the best one we can make? We want to specifically look for weapons that have reach. Or what would it be? Quality reach? No. Quality polearm? D-O-D. Reach. Whoops. Stop. That's taken a while to search. Okay. Okay. Steel spear. No, we need anvil of three. And the homemade half pike we can already make. Kind of disappointing. I was so excited about having an anvil. Um, is there something else that we needed an anvil for? Was it the... Um, uh, the press? No, uh, what's it called? To make... The 223 ammunition. Looking this up now. This is what this series has turned into. Just me crawling the wiki. Uh, that's fine. But I want the ammo. How do I make it? Ammo crafting? <laughs> you guys can't even see what I'm looking at. You need a book fabrication and a lot of resources. Right, the die set. Right, right, right. That's right. Suasion die set. You need Anvil 3. Oh, man. I was so excited about having Anvil 1, but it's pretty worthless. What what can we make? Hold on, let me let me take our books. Let's let's sit here where we have all of our recipes, and I'll look. First of all, can we make a crucible here? No, just a clay one. Um, can we make what can we make? Where you need anvil one. That's not. Our tool, anvil one. It should be something like that. A quality anvil one. Quality anvil, okay. Stuff at the bottom, yeah, anvil of... Uh, well, we can make solder. We can make... Right, we can't make a bronze anvil because we need a crucible. <laughs> okay. And we can't make rebar because we need a switch and die set. And that... Yeah. We can make a teapot. What do we care about that we could make? Steel mesh. Anvil one. Disappointing. A metal butchering rack. Yeah, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing anything. We really need clay. We just really need clay. Uh let me put my books back. Oh whoops, I thought this was. Do I make another homemade half pike? It's been okay. Uh, what do we need for it? A 
a half pickle. Yeah, I guess we'll make one. Uh, we put it on the table, so let's get that. Uh, the other thing that I think we might want to do while we're here is replace one of the seats with that storage thing. Uh, let's see. To install, let's say I wanted to go here and install an external car. Right, we need Mechanics 3, so we can't do it yet anyway. So we're not gonna. We still need clay or just a crucible. We're not totally healed up. Um, I know that I would love to go back to the lab up here and kill all those robots and like get the loot there and kill the, the re remaining zombies. We're not fully healed and it does make me a little nervous. We could go back to the lab that's close by and start uh, just killing things around there. We could also go back to Woodbridge and look in more houses there. That's true. There are still a lot of zombies there to kill, though. That would be kind of a waste of ammunition. Mm-hmm. And what is this? Cabin, right. I think we... What was this note? A oh, working sedan. Um, I think we might go to this lab, maybe. And just use our gun. And clear out more. I mean... My, my goal is to try to find clay or a crucible. What might have that? There is a construction site... I mean, ideally, we still want to look for more, look for a river somewhere. We've been really unlucky. You know what? We haven't really searched west. Maybe I do that. Maybe I just, we just go exploring more. Oh, we are very hungry, though. Let's, let's eat. Um, I don't really feel like cooking anything. Oh, the pesto's expiring soon. Yeah, we well, should just eat it. Oh, and the jam. Pesto's a lot of calories. All right. <laughs> Let's head out. Let's go exploring. Whoa. Okay. Um, all right. All right, we're through, and I think we go north and then west. I don't care about you, moose. Whoa. Things kind of jumped a little bit there. Okay. Here's that road. I think this is fine. Now, we were... An alarm did go off up here. I don't know if we should be really freaked out about that or if we could just kind of ignore it. I think we're going to... We'll go off-road a little bit. And just keep going here. Another moose, a turkey. It's still spring. I feel like we've been playing a long time and it's still the same season. All right, maybe we'll get really lucky with a river. Maybe there's one a lot closer to us than we thought. Oh, we ran over a little hull. Uh, this is interesting. Oh, a couple of cracks. I don't think cracks are very difficult. They're kind of Lovecraftian, but not particularly threatening. What do we have? Um, whoops. Anything we care about? No, not really. 
going. Let's follow the road a bit. Uh, let's keep going west. I think the Krex would be able to should be able to put down with a, a bullet. I think. Another vehicle. Uh, good to know. Do you have anything good here? Diamond and platinum earrings. Not sure how much I really care at this point. We've tried selling jewelry and it does not sell for as much as you would have thought. Or as I would have thought. What is that? Trailhead. I think we go south. That's an interesting vehicle. Like, that would be cool to put some of those things on our car. What do we have here at the front? Yeah, just heavy-duty frames that are just like... They act as a bumper. That might not be the worst idea. And what's in the back here? Oh, a spare tire. That might not be the worst idea either. Can I take that off? Yeah, I... Um, I'm not going to mount it, but I will keep it in the car. Uh. Oh. Um, there it is. Okay, not in there. Great. All right, and it would be good to get maybe some more heavy frames at some point. Oh, there's something in this car. A couple of things. All right, I'll take the duct tape. And then salt? Okay. Sure. Oh, I should also put that uh, other half pike that we have maybe in the seat behind me. Uh, no, not that one. Uh, that one. Oh yeah, the wrench also put in the back. The battery, hacksaw, crowbar, arc welder. Let's keep some duct tape back there. And you know this other Stanag magazine. Let's put that up here. Okay. All right. There are heavy heavy frames that we could get all over the place. Uh, is this a town? It looks like a town. Yep, and here are the zombies. Hmm. I was hoping for a river, not a town. We'll keep going here. What is that? Private park. Abandoned storefront. Uh, what is this? A radio tower. Oh, yeah. Someone told me I should climb a radio tower for more map visibility. Um, and I forgot to do that. That's probably a good idea. Now, we don't have binoculars or anything. Um, the zombies... That zombie does not see us. Okay. Stop driving. Uh, let's climb this thing. If we can. Uh, maybe there's some good stuff inside there, too. Can I get in? We could always dismantle the window. Oh, riot control platform. And it sees us. That's, uh, yeah, I don't want to get near that. I did not realize that. What is this? Oh, cash card? Yeah, cash card. Okay, back up. Never mind, we're not climbing that tower. There is, there is a turret. Okay. All right, we'll keep going. Come on, river. 
Come on, big river. Big open field. Corpse. Geese. Gooses. Uh, shack. Uh, another road. Uh, out of curiosity, what is this? Public space and military surplus. That's interesting, although... Oh no, I hit a squirrel? I'm sorry, squirrel. I didn't mean that. Oh, I feel bad. I didn't see it. Oh, all right, we got science ID cards here, so stop driving. This is interesting. These are more like disintegrated people. Oh, a CBM. That's pretty interesting. Is that it? Three corpses or three disintegrated bodies, I should say? Let me move the CBM. Because those are kind of heavy or bulky. I guess that one's not. 13 science ID cards. I think we have enough. Come on, big river. We just need some clay. Show us some clay. A uh, park. Ooh. FEMA camp. Like an emergency shelter kind of thing. I'm curious. Try to check it out. Huh. Okay, we don't see any zombies here. We do. Napalm. Napalm. These zombie burners have napalm. They have flamethrowers. Um, I don't know if they can use them, but that's terrifying. Of course, we do like fire. I'm sure their flamethrowers can't reach as far as our guns, though. You know... Kinda wanna see what we can do here. Uh, yeah, I can't shoot through. I do have my, my, yeah, I have 26 rounds here. Just, I keep trying to see if I, if I'm close enough to shoot anyone. They're tearing this fence down. We're going to kill some military zombies, which is always worthwhile because you get more ammo. Oh. I think we waste some ammo making sure this thing stays at a distance and not waiting for critical hits. Good. Now we can critically hit the military zombie. Uh, let's back up. I think the, because of the armor, the heavy armor on these guys, I think they're a little slower maybe. Sweet. I'm glad we killed that napalm zombie without too much fuss. Plus, that probably means that, you know, we'll be able to get um, the napalm and stuff and, and use that. Ooh, 
Mossberg. Uh, all right. It's a pretty cheap gun, actually, but... Huh. And there's a flamethrower. Uh, it's a little heavy. Oh. You know what? I, I would still like to smash this corpse. Uh, yeah, stop smashing. All right, it, it smashed. I'm going to stay away a bit. Let's put stuff in the seat. All right, welding goggles. Let's put those in our car. Because apparently those are required. All this food... Actually, the food... Put here. And the radio. Okay. It is bashing... Oh, there we go. Um, back up. I'm waiting for it to, like, finish crushing that wall, which it almost has. Maybe I don't want to be, uh... Oh, no, don't do that. I don't want to be trapped on the other side of that fence. I mean, you destroyed this, right? Broken wood wall, but it's impassable. But smashable. Are you not smashing it? I'm hearing wumps. Oh, there we go. Let's do this. Alright, fire. Don't get too close. Alright, one more. Oh, it died. That uh, was interesting. Take your flamethrower. Your Mexican chicken stew. Uh, great. And there's another flamethrower to get. Where's that? Yeah, let's put the guns here in the seat. Where's the flamethrower? Here it is. Pretty cool. Okay. Let's get that other one. Beautiful. All right, and now let's uh, safely explore. Let's see, wait, what is this? Oh, napalm, just napalm on the ground. I can't pick up a liquid. I guess we would have to get a container for it. Are there any containers here? A chocolate drink, that's a container. Okay, cool. Yeah, this FEMA camp might be nice. Oh, hi. Hi, all you zombies. Well, let's get out of here. They are chasing us. Most of these are just regular zombies, so I can probably half pike some of them, although it's a bunch of them. We did just get a bunch of new ammo. Maybe I'll kill a couple of them with bullets and then get the uh, bring out the half pike. We are still a little hurt, too. Ah. Uh. Oh, you died. <laughs> yeah, come here. Uh, tab. Oh, right. You uh, diagonal doesn't work. You can do like, I I real. Someone told me this in the comments. You can do like um. How a knight moves in chess to attack it, but not a straight diagonal two spaces. 
Sweet. A multi-tool telescoping umbrella. Beautiful. Low-grade methamphetamine. All right. And I think there's still one more in there, and maybe we kill that one and uh, call it an episode. Come here, zombie. There we go. Nice. Okay. Smash you. All right, so uh, this is interesting, this FEMA camp. It's uh, it's not a river, but we're still going to explore. There's still a bunch to explore around this area that we haven't. That's kind of wildernessy, and maybe there'll be a river nearby. But we're, I'm excited about exploring about exploring this FEMA camp and seeing what might be here. Uh, we're we can definitely get more ammo at the very least. So I enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.